Um, when I think of Dick Man La Van, she reminds me of Vietnam and um, of the fact that my father had to come to the U.S. by boat. And that's a history shared by many Vietnamese Americans, and I think it's something that we should never forget. Rất là thần tượng đức mẹ la vang vì đức mẹ rất yêu dân tộc mình, mà dân tộc Việt Nam của mình cũng là yêu đức mẹ lắm á. Bởi vì mỗi khi mà chúng ta tin tưởng và trông cậy chạy đến á, mà cầu xin đức mẹ thì rất là đức mẹ rất thương, tại vì á, giống như là một một người mẹ trong gia đình á. Mình... Đối với người Việt Nam chúng tôi đó, chúng ta đó, thì đức mẹ la vang là đức mẹ của người Việt Nam. Đức mẹ la vang là chung cho mọi người Việt Nam, không phải chỉ ở đây. Vietnam is a country situated immediately south of China and east of Laos and Cambodia. It is popularly known for its long history of war during the 20th century. However, this war-ridden country is also the home of many religions, and Catholicism is its second largest religion. One of the most sacred Catholic sites in Vietnam is La Vang, an important pilgrimage center that has attracted Catholics throughout the world. According to an oral tradition, in 1798, the Virgin Mary appeared here under three large trees to comfort Vietnamese Catholics who were seeking refuge from anti-Catholic persecutions. In 1901, around 100 years later, a French bishop placed a French-made statue of Our Lady of Victories in a newly built church dedicated to Our Lady of Levang. It was modeled after the original statue in Paris. During this time, Vietnam was under French control and Catholicism became much more tolerated than in previous centuries. In 1998, upon the bicentennial anniversary of her apparition, Our Lady of Levang became Vietnamese. How did this happen? The answer to this question takes us to the United States. In 1975, South Vietnam fell to communism. As a result, during this year, about 125,000 Vietnamese arrived in the United States to escape religious and political persecutions under the hands of communists in their homeland. Within this population, approximately 30 to 40 percent were Catholics. Whether they were on boats or at refugee camps, Vietnamese Catholics continued to pray, hold masses, and observe religious rituals as they struggled to find and build a new home. The influx of Vietnamese Catholic refugees to the United States continued until the late 1990s. The largest Vietnamese Catholic group resettled in Orange County, the greater Los Angeles area. In 1992, they completed the construction of the Vietnamese Catholic Center. This was where they could regularly meet and participate in community activities. However, despite this effort, the Vietnamese American Catholic community has continued to be fragmented geographically because the Diocese of Orange has not granted them permission to hold masses and sacraments at the Vietnamese Catholic Center. The Polish and Korean Catholic Centers, on the other hand, have been allowed to conduct these activities since the 1980s. This experience of marginalization within the local diocese was contrary to Vietnamese Catholics' warm relations with the Vatican. At the 1993 World Youth Day in Denver, for example, Pope John Paul II publicly addressed them. He referred to the upcoming bicentennial anniversary of the Our Lady of Levang apparition in 1998. He said, I commend the whole Vietnamese Catholic community to the intercession of Our Lady Levang. Soon the church in Vietnam, already consecrated to her Immaculate Heart, will celebrate the bicentennial of that event. May the period of preparation for that jubilee be a time of renewed fervor and faith and Christian living, a time of solidarity with the Catholic community in the homeland, a time to remember the past, but also to prepare an even brighter future for the new generations of Vietnamese. Consequently, in 1994, Vietnamese American Catholics in Orange County created Our Lady of Vietnam with the help of Vietnamese American sculptor Nan Vaughn. 
This was the first Marian statue ever made in the image of a Vietnamese woman. Through Our Lady of Vietnam, Vietnamese Catholics wanted to further centralize their history and culture into their faith. They placed this statue at the Vietnamese Catholic Center. Between 1996 and 1997, Mr. Nan Van was asked by Vietnamese priests in Vietnam to create a Vietnamese-looking Our Lady of Le Vang statue. They were impressed by the statue of Our Lady of Vietnam during their visits to the Vietnamese Catholic community in Orange County and wanted to have a similar model for Our Lady of Levang. In 1998, upon the bicentennial anniversary of the apparition of Our Lady of Levang, a Vietnamese-looking statue of Our Lady of Levang was revealed. Since then, Vietnamese Catholics throughout the world have come to embrace this Vietnamese depiction of Mary to represent their faith, history, and global connections to each other. In the U.S. alone, there are 15 parishes constructed and named after Our Lady of Levang. The 16th Our Lady of Levang Parish in the United States will open between 2018 and 2020. This is a $40 million project that Vietnamese Catholics in San Jose, California have embarked on to replace their recently burned down St. Patrick Proto-Cathedral. Certainly, Our Lady of Levang is not the first and only Asian representation of Mary. There are many local forms of Mary in Asia, including those in Taiwan, Macau, Japan, and Cambodia. However, Our Lady of Levang is the only Asian form that has become global. She was revisualized as a Vietnamese woman in the United States, exported to Vietnam, and then re-exported to Vietnamese Catholic communities throughout the world.